Okay, uh, yeah, so what are we talking about now? So the first week was basically about code as code. So um, like we were looking at version control, so managing text files. Down this week we go to more about software. So basically it is like we're no, it's no longer individual lines, but how everything fits together. So the preview of the week. So first we talk about reproducible research. So basically, if you can run something yourself, how can other people run things? Or equally important, how can you run the same thing in, say, a week or six months or whatever? As we've, as our discussions have shown, this is something that very often is going wrong. Mm. Social coding. So this is not about how we share, but why to share and things like licenses and why, like what's, what are the barriers to sharing and how to get around those barriers. Um, then we have Jupyter, which is a convenient way to do interactive coding and testing and things like that. So it, in the past, some people have said this lesson is slightly out of place, but um, at least some people have always found it to be convenient. Although who knows, maybe now we're getting to the point that everyone already knows about Jupiter, so we could see if it's still it's good here. Anyway, we'll see. It's a good well, uh, we're presenting it in the context of reproducibility, actually. So actually, you're right. I yeah. know more and more people actually use Jupiter, but um, uh, I think we have a good focus in that lesson on on how to use Jupiter for open science, yeah. how to use reproducibility. Yeah, like we talk about binder and things like that, which are not at all obvious. Okay, yeah. Mm. So anyway, and then we go to documentation. So basically when we're going beyond readme file and code comments, so how might you sort of approach the whole idea of documenting your things in a more structured manner? Then software testing puts a lot of these different things together. So once you have things that are reproducible and then you can, um, and it's in version control, how can you make sure that every change you do keeps your code working? and here it uses GitHub Actions and other CI systems, continuous integration. Anyway, and then it, it all wraps up with a lesson on modular code development. So this is a really great lesson that sort of starts from a simple script and then it's slowly built up into something that's reusable. And you see many different examples of how this, like the kinds of things you would consider to make things reusable. So that's this week. Uh, 